So now we're going to do the dreaded word problem with linear programming. Now when you see this large block of text, the thing that tips you off to the fact that it's a linear programming problem is any form of the words optimal, minimal, or maximal. Okay. Now, when I'm trying to formulate this problem, I don't actually read through the whole thing at first. I skip straight to the last equation, or the last sentence, that says how many cups of each drink should be consumed each day to obtain a minimal cost. This tells me immediately what my variables should represent. Okay. So, how many cups of each drink? Well, I have two drinks. X should be cups of drink A, and Y should be cups of drink B. Okay. Now I'm going to start actually formulating the problem mathematically. I'm wanting to minimize the cost. Well, how am I going to find cost? I look through here and I look for anything relating to cost and it tells me that drink B costs 15 cents per cup and drink A costs 12 cents per cup. So the total cost will be 12 cents times how many cups of drink A and 15 cents times however many cups of drink B. Now I'm going to start doing constraints. And the thing with constraints is you're always looking for something the problem cares about. And it tells you here, right at the very beginning, it says at least 300 calories, 36 units of vitamin A, and 90 units of vitamin C. So I'm going to have a constraint for every single one of them. I like to label them so it helps me in remembering where they came from. So for calories, I need at least 300 calories. This means that however many I actually get should be less, greater than, or equal to 300. Then I go through and look for any other information about calories. And I see that drink A gives 60 calories as well as drink B per cup. So it's 60 times how many cups of drink A and 60 times how many cups of drink Y. Okay. Now I say, well, it cares about vitamin A. So we're going to have a vitamin A constraint. I need at least 36 units, so I need to be greater than or equal to 36. Okay. Drink A gives me 12 units, and drink B gives me 6 units. So I'm going to get 12x plus 6y is greater than or equal to 36. The last thing I care about is vitamin C. Okay. I need 90 units of vitamin C at least. So greater than or equal to 90. Drink A gives me 10 units. Drink B gives me 30. So 10x plus 30y is greater than or equal to 90. Now, there's one thing that the problem never actually explicitly states in its word portion, but you have to remember to always put. And that is going to be the non-negativity conditions. Now, these do not appear in every problem, but you should always check to see if they appear when you're given a word problem. So how am I going to check here? I say, well, is it possible to have x or y be negative numbers? In other words, is it possible to have negative cups of some kind of drink? And that makes absolutely no sense, so we need to add two inequalities at the bottom that tells us that x and y cannot be negative for the problem to make logical sense. Now. We have our system of inequalities. We need to graph them. So first, of course, we want to solve for y. This gives us y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 5. This gives us y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 6. And this gives us y is greater than or equal to negative a third x plus 3 when we solve for y. Moving to the graph, once again, we only care about first quadrant. Our first one has a y-intercept of 5 and slopes downward. This is y equals minus x plus 5. You can also compute that that x-intercept is 5. This gives us a y-intercept of 6. And if you find the x-intercept, you find that the x-intercept is 3. So here's our line, y equals minus 2x plus 6. This gives us a y-intercept of 3 and an x-intercept of 9. So 
here's y equals minus a third x plus 3. Now we're going to try and find the region that this system of inequalities defines. I am above minus x plus 5, above minus 2x plus 6, above minus a third x plus 3, to the right of the y-axis and above the x-axis. So we look like this. Now it is an unbounded region that continues indefinitely up towards the right, but I do have one, two, three, four nice defined intercept points. Now this one was a y-intercept, we already know its coordinates are 0, 6. This one was an x-intercept, we already know its coordinates are 9, 0. So I'm looking for the coordinates of the two middle corner points. For this first one, it's where minus 2x plus 6 intersects the line minus x plus 5. So I get that x equals 1, and if x is 1, y is 4. For my second one, that is where minus x plus 5 intersects the line minus 3x plus 3. Once again, clearing fractions to make the problem easier to solve. I end up with x equals 3. If x is 3, then y is 2. Now I'm also, of course, going to need points that extend along the boundary to represent the fact that it is unbounded. So now let's start by producing our table. I have the four known points, 0, 6, 1, 4, 3, 2, and 9, 0. A point on this boundary is on the x-axis, so it will look like x comma 0, but the smallest point on the x-axis that goes into there is 9, so I need that x is greater than or equal to 9. Points on this boundary are on the y-axis, and points on the y-axis looks like 0 comma y, and the smallest y-coordinate is 6. So now I'm going to plug all of these into 0.12x plus 0.15y. This is a little bit of a complicated calculation, so I'm going to cheat having already used my calculator to figure these out. Plugging in 0, 06 gives you 0.9. Plugging in 14 gives you 0.72. Plugging in 32 gives you 0.66. And plugging in 90 gives you 1.08. Plugging in x0 gives you 0.12x, and it is at least 1.08. Plugging in 0y gives you 0.15y, and it is at least 0.9. Okay. Now, we are trying for a minimum, so I go through and I say, do I have a defined minimum? The answer is yes, it's the point 0.32. The only thing you have to be careful of, as with any word problem, is to actually answer the question that was given. And the question was, how many cups of each drink should be consumed? So the answer is three cups of drink A and two cups of drink B for a total cost of 66 cents a day.